page 22, we wish you a Merry Christmas. This is the Secundo, or Secundo, depending on which language you're from. It's a duet. Page 22 and 23, it's a duet. It's the same piece of music. So 22 is the bottom part, or the Secundo part, or Secundo. The second part is what it means. And page 23 is the top part, or the primo part. I cover page 23 in the next lesson. I'm going to talk about this now on page 22. Got to go through the routine for learning a new piece of music. I look it over, I see it's one page long, treble and bass clef, three, four time signature. It's got a rest on the first, the pickup beat, which you're thinking, what's going on? Well, the other part plays a note then, and that's why it has to be here. And then a lot of dotted half notes and quarter notes and things. So I'm going to go over this both hands together, because for the most part, it's just one hand or the other playing. Now the notes are written here, where you're starting here and here. But when you actually play it, they want you to go down an octave. So you're just going to pretend middle C instead of here is down here. And you can play it down here. Here. They could put the notes down here for this, but you probably haven't had all those notes yet. So it's just easier to read these notes and just go down or pretend middle C is down here. That's all. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Isn't this fun? One, two, three, one, two. They have a C D together. And then measure nine. Yeah, I do. Now on measure twelve, you're here, you've been here. And they want the right hand to come here. They just come down one key here. So you somewhere in that line, you got plenty of rest, you got plenty of time to come down. You decide, just be here, ready to go. Measure 13. One in, two in. One in. Here. At the end, see any? That's sort of the part. So you work it out, no hesitations anywhere, especially when you're playing with other people, you can't afford to hesitate because you mess them up. Naughty, naughty. So nobody hesitates on this. You keep the beat going as best you can. And then I think about the articulation, and we have slurs here, not phrases, they're slurs. So measure six. Just connect. Now on a slur, you don't necessarily lift up before and after a slur. It depends on the music and what it needs. So on measure six, whether you lift up or not on here depends on the other part because you need to blend in with the other part. So we have to wait and hear the other part. Do I need to lift up there or not? I don't know yet. But starting at measure nine, this is melody. Now this is a phrase here. Connect. It's a new phrase. Lift up. No, I would connect that last line all together. That's all one thought. It's all one th sentence. Yeah, I would not split the last line. If you read the words, there's no comma or anything in there. It's just one sentence. It's one thought, so I wouldn't split it. A dynamics, moderately loud. It's going to be for both hands until you get to the pickup to measure nine when it goes up to loud. It's the melody that gets it. But here, this none of this is melody, so it's really both hands. Whatever you think sort of loud is, just keep in mind that's your starting point and it's only a guide. When you're playing with other people, you have to adjust these dynamics to fit in with the other people in the situation. So you may start out, you think you're moderately loud, but if your person you're playing with, you know, doesn't have a lot of strength, or that, you know, their, their loud isn't very loud, you have to adjust. You have to come down, you might end up playing this soft. It depends. But when you get to the pickup to measure nine, now this is melody. Now you're in control and the other part is supporting. So now you, yeah, it's loud pretty much. And you're staying loud for the rest of the piece. So at the beginning, it's like rest. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, three, one. I'm connecting all of this.
together. As far as the speed goes, it's a happy piece. It's a wish you a Merry Christmas and how much wine or eggnog I've had to drink is out. Okay. It's just not super fast and it certainly isn't slow because it is a happy piece. Let's play it together slowly and check that you have the right notes and rhythms. I'm not going to do any dynamics. I'm playing all about the same. We're just checking notes and rhythms. So I'll give us three counts because we come in on beat one of the second measure, or the first full measure it is. One, ready, go. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. Let's try this as a duet. You play page 22. I'm going to play page 23 as a duet. Let's see if we can put this together. And to do this, I, the duet again has a pickup beat. So I'm giving us two counts, and then the duet part starts, and then you come in. If you can keep all that straight. Go speed it up a little bit. Huh? Ready, go. Three. 